There are three simple steps to build a constant contact lead generation form. First, we'll add a campaign. Then in the campaign, we're going to add an individual advertisement. This is our first one. This is for a newsletter sign-up form. Once we add the advertisement, we need to add the content, and we'll head into the editor for that. Click the Data button to open the editor. Here we'll add elements for the individual form. Click the items you wish to use, and then click the Add Data Widgets button on the bottom of the page. Now all you have to do is drag them into place. If at any time you wish to edit, hover over your item and double click. That brings back up the editor. Here you can readjust the label or click the Advanced tab to set the tab order and if the field is required. Now let's spruce this ad up a little bit. First we're going to go to the background and remove it. After that, let's resize it to give us enough room for our new image. We've already uploaded an image, so we're going to go to the My Images section, click on our image, and add it to the page. Now anything that's added to the page is always added at the highest layer level. So what we need to do is right click and send it down. That gives us access to the elements that were buried below. Let's move those into place. And resize. And one last step. Let's clean up that close button a little bit by moving it down in the corner and double clicking on it gives us some new choices. Let's choose a red one. Move it into place and save. Now, let's improve how the submit button appears on the page by double clicking on it and changing its style. Let's pick a red button. Here we can adjust the width, the content, the color, the size, and even adding a text shadow. That's much better. Let's finalize the position of the elements on the page and save. Now that we have version 1 of our advertisement done, we're going to add a data rule which will help transport any new leads into our Constant Contact account. Select Constant Contact and click Add. If this is your first time, you'll need to authorize ScreenPopper to use your Constant Contact account. Log into Constant Contact with your credentials. On the next screen that's presented to you, make sure that ScreenPopper is listed in the Grant Access section. If it is, go ahead and grant access to ScreenPopper. Once the authorization is done, you're complete. Close this window and head back to the Screen Popper Editor. Now we can add the data rule by selecting Constant Contact in the drop-down list. This brings up a form and also connects to the Constant Contact service. Now all your lists will be available. Give your data rule a name and then select one or more of your lists available in Step 2. In addition to the standard fields like name, email, address, you can also send over 15 custom fields to Constant Contact and populate it with things such as the campaign title, the pop-up title, the page that it came from, or any of the optional text widgets. We won't add any, so we're just going to save it as it is. Now that the data rule is saved, all we need to do is to associate it to the pop-up message. Double-click the Submit button to bring up the widget editor. Now in the drop-down box on the bottom right, select your data rule and save. Now when a new lead comes in, we'll move it directly to your Constant Contact account. Let's click Preview and see how the ad looks to the end user. Clicking the Sign Up Now button, we can see the required fields are active. Let's put in some test data and resubmit the form. We can see that the data rule we created for Constant Contact is active. Let's close that out. Now to go live on your website, simply paste the launch code on your web page and make sure that this ad is active.